Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad to see you all here. So in this video, I want to go over two commonly used bioinformatics file formats that is FASTA and FASTQ. This video is going to be fairly straightforward where we'll be talking about what information is available in these files, how is the data organized and how do we take a look at this data. So taking a look at the FASTA file, this is essentially how a FASTA file looks. So it's basically a text file which can be opened in any text editors like Notepad or Microsoft Word. This file is used to store uh, nucleic acid or amino acid sequences. Here we have an in the example, what we have is um, amino acid sequence and each amino acid is represented by one letter code. Each FASTA file is divided into two parts. It contains a header and the sequence. The header always starts with a greater than symbol and it has uh, some information uh, present, which can be information about the sequence. A FASTA file can have one sequence or it can have multiple sequence and in, if it has multiple sequence then the following sequence would again start with a greater than symbol, the, um, the line which contains the information and with the sequence. The file extensions for FASTA file is .fasta, .fa, it can also have .fna which indicates that the file contains nucleic acid sequence or .faa which could also indicate the, fi uh, the FASTA file has amino acid sequence. Uh, most often reference genomes are in this format and Sanger sequencing and some older NGS sequencers reports the sequence in this format. FASTQ files also store nucleotide sequences but in addition to that it also stores information about the quality that is corresponding to each nucleotide. FASTQ files start with the add symbol and the first line is the description line which is uh, similar to the description line present in the FASTA file. Here the description line uh, gives us information about the instrument type, the uh, run ID, the flow cell ID and so on and so forth. The second line is the actual nucleotide sequence. The third line begins with the character plus and is followed by the same sequence ID or the description line. And the last line corresponds to the quality scores. Each character or letter here corresponds to a quality score also called as a FRET score and we'll be talking about this in more detail in the next slide. These files are generated by the sequencers and they can be used as input to aligners, to quality control tools and assemblers. These files have extensions .fastq or .fq. Fred scores basically tell us how confident the machine was that it called the correct base each time. Which means higher the Fred score, lower is the probability that the base call is incorrect. In the table below you can see as, as the quality scores goes on increasing, the probability of error goes on decreasing and each quality score is associated with a character. Now that character is used to indicate the quality uh, value for a particular nucleotide. Now to give you a little more intuition, let me give an example. So let's say a machine reads an adenine nucleotide and assigns it a quality score of Q20. In FRET scale, that means it is 99% sure that it has identified the base correctly. Although 99% confidence is an extremely high level of confidence, but we can still expect it to be wrong in one case out of 100. So let's say if we have a 30x genome, uh, a genome that is sequenced at 30x sequencing depth, we can have around uh, 90 billion base calls and at that rate the machine would make the wrong call in 900 million bases, which is a lot of bad bases. So it's really important that our base calls have low probability of error and have high FET scores. So that was the FASTA and the FASTQ format. Uh, I hope you found this video informative. If you did, please make sure you hit the subscribe button, like the video, share it and leave your comments under the comment section. Until next time, see you.